Now I have here a Clocknix uh, inside camera and it's looking at a picture of a brake pad with a QR code printed on it and the inside camera is connected to my Wi-Fi router to which I connected my laptop and I have here the inside uh, Explorer software open in the current job looking at the break and finding the QR code and as you can see it found it as expected I'm now going to cover the uh, image with a post-it and trigger doing manual trigger on the inside explorer and as suspected you get nothing everything uh, didn't pass because there's no part the part was covered by the post-it I'm gonna change now switch now to uh, spreadsheet view so I can show you the uh, spreadsheet cells and here on I think it's cell B62 is where the uh, string value for the QR code is stored after it's read and also I have here uh, some functions uh, testing to see if there's a barcode present or not simple uh, spreadsheet from inside functions just an exercise but what I'm doing here as I am um, trying to uh, show you something so if I trigger again I should get a barcode and you can see the uh, superimposed image on the background is seen as you all guys know how to use insight so I'm not gonna bother you anymore with that let's go to uh, visual code here I have a Python a program that uses telnet to connect to the camera so the inside cameras have port 23 open so you can tell it to them and I'm gonna pull uh, the contents of cell B62 which is the uh, QR code string value which is a URL basically it's just an URL and if you call for Cognex help uh, and look search and you look for native mode comment and look at uh, the list of native code uh, commands the extended and the basic you'll notice that there's a quite a bunch of um, <clears throat> useful commands that you can use so this is how you you tell it to your um, camera using your favorite telnet client and I've used uh, Hyper Terminal, which is a program that was available on Windows XP that I just borrowed to Windows 8 here. Or you can use PU, TTY, or Procom, whatever. So if you uh, click on the uh, native mode uh, list of codes, you shall see that there is quite a bunch of uh, ones that are useful, like here you got the uh, all these which are just uh, abbreviations or just native commands you know string values that you send over telnet and you get uh, return set of values so I'm telling that to it just uh, using telnet library from Python and then I create a function that will uh, remove the tag name from a tag you know it's, it's an XML tag here I call the host with this um, IP address this username and password and here I'm, I'm actually writing and reading uh, from the telnet so Python is behaving as a telnet client and uh, I'm just executing commands and reading their return values from it and if like now I'm gonna show you what it, what you can do with hyper terminal so you put hyper terminal I already have a telnet uh, configuration file here when I open it up it just, it just prompts you with that welcome to inside 7200 session 0 you type in admin password non and then you get the user login session is 0 because it's the only thing that is logged into it if you type SE8 that is to trigger 
that will trigger the camera and then uh, you can then issue other commands from the native mode set of commands and then the values are returned it based on your commands so the attributes depend on what command you're actually using SEA triggers the camera so you gotta set your camera in in external network or manual mode so you can trigger it from the telnet client another function I'm using is get cell uh, value which is uh, uh, not a function that you execute on the telnet client to get the contents of a certain spreadsheet cell and the return value is uh, shown as an XML tag here I'm typing uh, get cell value B62 and then it's crucial that you type the return uh, character return and then line feed characters after every command it's important that you do append the uh, backslash R and backslash um, and command so you get your commands executed by the camera so if I run my Python script it will trigger uh, the camera I want to execute that just typing in I already have it here in the QE I'm going to execute my uh, Cognex uh, telnet.py and it should get the trigger as you saw it and it already uh, logged in and got the QR code in text uh, format so if I cover it with a post-it this is something I've seen you gotta trigger it twice to get um, the value of data so it still shows the QR code when I type once the, the QR code is missing because there's no QR code because it's uh, covered by the post-it very simple um, but in the background so this is a front end you just get the, uh, the the barcode result but in the in the back end you're getting all this um, <coughs> um, handshaking of commands and return values so that's why Python is good for it. It's, it's good to automate things.